<laughs> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Nope. That's not how it goes. This is a vlog. Mother bitches. <clears throat> All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. And this is the last vlog of 2016. This is going to be my last vlog and my last video. What of 2016? Where did, where did the year go? This vlog is going to be a little bit different than other vlogs. We're scrapping the format. We're just straight up scrapping it. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to start this off. We're going to have a little bit of news and advocacy. There's going to be a little bit of shout outs and then there's going to be a little bit of beer. We're going to completely, we're going to have like the fastest what I've been vaping segment of all time. And then I'm going to do my top fives or my top vapes my favorite let's call it this let's call it my favorite vapes of 2016 because in some categories there's like six things and other things there's three things and blah 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 and it's not like a top five list like i did last year my top five everything of 2015 it was like a two and a half hour long video and i basically like ruby Roo told me i basically re-reviewed everything that i put in that video so we're going to cut it down even shorter i've got a whole bunch of notes i've got all of the devices and mods and tanks and everything that we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna do RDAs, we're gonna do tanks, we're gonna do mods, and we're gonna do liquids. That's it, keeping it simple, favorite RDAs, favorite tanks, favorite mods, favorite liquids, boom roasted. And then instead of having any sort of retro vaping or what I've been vaping, we have a whole mess. I mean, mess of first impressions. I was gone for the last six days on the East Coast. We were in New York City and New Jersey. We went and saw Star Wars Rogue One, which if you're interested in my thoughts on Star Wars Rogue One, listen to the Culture of Clouds podcast this Sunday on Christmas Day, and Ruby Rue and myself will be talking all about Rogue One. But I was gone for the last five days and so I came home to a whole mess of packages. Look at this, I have all, look at these packages. I never do like haul videos or like open up all my vape mail videos, but I've got one, two, three, and then I've got four or five packages. Don't even know what is in any of these. So what we're gonna be doing on the first impressions, so just kind of opening, we're gonna be opening all these packages and first impressioning, first impressioning? Yeah, sure, first impressioning everything that's in those boxes. So without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into this. For the last 10 days, I have been running a raffle and this raffle, this raffle is a huge, huge raffle. Huge, huge prizes in there. Axis Vapes M17, uh, Recoil RDA, Twisted Messes RDA, Dude RDA, as well as a whole bunch of other miscellaneous mods and tanks and toppers all from China. We had, let me get to my statistics here. We had 591 entries. 591 entries, that is insane. I went through all of these entries and I totaled up how many people, uh, you know, how much people donated and how many people donated how much money. Anyway, the grand total, are you ready for the grand total of how much money we raised for advocacy? Out of the park, $2,975. $2,975, pat yourself on the back. Everybody who entered, do, do one of these jobs. You, you just donated money to advocacy, to a greater cause, to something bigger than yourself, to suing the federal government. And I just, oh, that makes me so excited. So congratulations, all, all of my subscribers, everybody who donated, you, you deserve a fist bump. Just go, just bump it. But as with any raffle, there can only be one winner. And that winner was... Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. A fella named Jordan. J well, I'm not going to say your last name, but it's a fella named Jordan. You know, I will just call you Jordan R. Jordan R. You have been contacted by me on this day. And as soon as I get your address and verify your age and everything, I'm going to be shipping you a whole huge big old box of vape crap. So you get a fist bump too, Jordan. Go ahead and bump it. Thank you so much to everybody that entered. I mean, that is awesome. I, I love raising money for a good cause. I love raising money for advocacy. So Jordan, congratulations, you have won. In other news, I got an email here from a fella named uh, Veggie Bite, which that's, that's interesting. His name is Ve ve I can't even V-E-G-I-G-E-G-Y-B-E 
I don't, I'm not sure how to say that, um, but it just, it, it says e-cig news from Hungary, the country of Hungary. It says 2007 marks the end of e-cigarettes in Hungary. From 2017, uh, starting in 2017, you can't buy flavored e-liquid. There will be a 0.25, so 25 cent tax on every mill of juice. So on a 30 mil bottle, you'll be paying 750 in taxes. Uh, it's going to be illegal to buy juice from online vendors online vendors from a foreign country and most of the legal juice makers are also going to have to leave Hungary because of this tax. Sorry for my bad English. I just translated this while I was at work. What the hell, Hungary? Seriously, what the hell? Um, I haven't looked into this. This is just an email that I got from someone in Hungary, and this is the information that he's giving to me. If anybody has any information on vaping or e-cigarettes in the country of Hungary, uh, please send me some links and I can include those in future vlogs. But thank you, thank you for giving me that information, even though I I truly and honestly cannot pronounce your name. I'm also rocking my uh, my, my, my Rick and Morty Get Swifty, uh, look at that, my Rick and Morty Get Swifty uh, Christmas sweater, which, it's already way too hot in here, and so I have a feeling that after the news and shout outs thing, that this this is gone, this is done. Bye, bye, it's way too hot in here. I do have one more thing that's news related. Uh, I found a great article from the Los Angeles Times. I believe I came across this via Reddit, but the big headline on it is, teens are cutting back on drugs, alcohol, smoking, and yes, even electronic cigarettes study fines. Ooh, remember weasel words? Remember things like new study shows or study fines? Digga digga, weasel words. Even if they are in your benefit, they are still weasel words. For the first time, researchers. Okay, nope. Hi. For the first time, researchers are seeing that. S <sighs> Get yourself together, Nick. For the first time, researchers are. Holy fuck. For the first time, researchers are seeing signs that the American teens may be turning away from electronic cigarettes. An annual survey involving thousands of middle and high school kids, high school students from across the nation found that use of e-cigarettes, both experimentally and on a regular basis, declined in 2016 after reaching an all-time high in 2015. You know why that is? Do you know why that is? It's because vaping and electronic cigarettes are for current or past adult smokers that want to continue using nicotine at a reduced harm. This year, 26.6% of students said they had tried the devices at least once in their lives and 9.9% had used them within 30 days of being surveyed, according to the Monitoring the Future report from the University of Michigan. Last year, those fig figures were 29.9% and 12.8% respectively. Vaping was less prevalent among students in all three grades surveyed. Current use of e-cigarettes dropped from 8% to 6.2% among eight graders and 14.2% to 11% among high school sophomores and from 16.3% to 12.5% among high school seniors according to this report. And then this article does the most obnoxious thing that that articles can possibly do. It says the year to year decline might turn out to be a fluke. In 2017, we could see a return to the previously steady rise that pushed e-cigarettes ahead of traditional cigarettes as teen smoking devices of choice. Yeah, sure, you you could. I don't know, we could also see a dramatic rise in car fatalities, but if that trend is going down, chances are uh, it might, mm, might continue to go down. I mean, you can't say the we could. We could. Sure, we could. We could see changes in a lot of things. We could see the polar ice caps melt. We could. We could see a lot of things. You can't go down the slippery slope. You know what I mean? A plus B doesn't always equal C. You can't assume that things are going to happen. Uh, it's just a logical fallacy. Sorry, I get all fired up. It's just a logical fallacy that completely drives me nuts. In an effort to keep this video no longer than it needs to be, what I'm going to do is uh, just post a link down in the description. This is actually a really good article that you can certainly share around on social media to your vapor, smoker, and non-smoker friends alike. And that's really all I have for news, but I mean, keep in mind that 2017 is going to be a crucial, crucial, crucial year for advocacy. I said this in 2016. I'm going to 
to say it again. I'm going to predict it for 2017. It's going to be a crucial year for advocacy. If you care about vaping at all, if you give a shit about your rights, you have to, you have to do something. As Kevin Skipper always says, you don't have to do everything, but you do have to do something. So yeah, let's wrap up this news. Let's do the world's fastest what I have been vaping. And even before we get to that, I just want to show you guys the Christmas gift that I bought myself. Yeah. Bought myself a Kylo Ren helmet. Yeah, look at that. Look how cool it is. It's even battle damage and everything. This is an insanely high quality helmet. You can't see the inside, but it's all fuzzy and furry. And I mean, it's all fuzzy lined in there and it's really super nice and padded. I bought this from Anovos. This is the premier Kylo Ren helmet. I, I love it. I love it. It's just one of my things. In fact, I bought this back in May and I just got it in the mail just today. So that's how long it took. I've been looking forward to this Kylo Ren helmet for a very, very long time. And it looks super freaking cool when you vape through it. Yeah. So yeah, that's just my thing that I wanted to show off. And now it's going to live back here with the First Order Trooper and the Storm Trooper just kind of right on this shelf right now. And this, this sweater is definitely coming off. I tried. Okay. I tried to look festive. At least I have Christmas lights. I can't wear a Christmas sweater the entire movie. Movie? Video? What? <laughs> so now for the world's fastest what I've been vaping. Taro Pro Mini. Hazy custard on the inside. Six milligram. Great vape. Axis Vapes M17, Cosmonaut RDA, color changing DHD drip tip on top. I've got a vlog day from the Grim Green Signature line in here. Really super stellar vape. The Relo Mini Kit, I have Snowbird from Bonsai Vapors in here. It's a mango gingerbread. This is, this is easily one of my favorite vapes right now. It's just freaking delicious. Noisy Cricket version two, MGNT version two from Shadow Vapor. I have M Turk's Turkish blend in here. It's a butterscotch custard. It's freaking delicious, and I'm I'm down to like the last three drops of it. This is a stellar vape. And last but not least, the Me One kit has been like my daily banger. I've just been using it constantly, constantly, every day, every day. I used it every day while I was on vacation, every single, single day. I have uh, Atlanta Peach Leaf Tobacco in here from the Namber Classics line. It's a 50-50 peach tobacco juice. It, it's just an unbelievably good vape. Oh God, it's so good. So yeah, that's what I have been vaping. That might've been the fastest that I've ever done it. Time, we're time, we're short on time. Let's do like three really quick shout outs. It is shout out time. So the first shout out I have to do is from a guy named uh, jmac502. He left a comment on one of my videos and said, hey Grim, I watch your vlog every week. Any chance of a shout out next week's vlog? Yeah, sure. Why not? Absolutely. Boom. There you go. Consider yourself shouted out. This isn't, I don't know, some people come sometimes just request shout outs in the comments and so I'll like screen capture it and boom, jmac502. There's your shout out, bro. Another quick shout out I want to do is for my friend uh, Jess, Jess Marie, DHD, Double Helix Design. She makes the most, some of the most dope drip tips uh, in the vaping world. She has a new YouTube. It's all about, I'm subscribed, but if I'm being honest, I'm probably not going to sit and watch all of these videos. They're makeup tutorials, okay? She reviews makeup stuff and does like the makeup y stuff with the face and the eyes and then the, the other things and the eyeliner and the beauty blenders and stuff like that. She's really, really good at it. I know zero about like the makeup scene or the makeup world or anything like that. But if I have any female viewers, which I think there are a few, there's a few female viewers. If you're into makeup, just go, just go check out Jess. It's it's Gore Dash Jess Makeup. Jess Marie Makeup. Gore Dash Jess Marie Makeup, which is hard to find on YouTube. So I'll just post a link down in the description. But uh, I have to shout out her YouTube because she's just getting started. I've been trying to help her with like uh, editing and, and things and lights and cameras and microphones and setups and blah, blah, blah and stuff like this. And she's killing it. I mean, she's knocking it out of the park. Uh, she has a video, 15 Facts About Me. It's really good. It's just a really great video. Even if you're not into makeup, you can watch that video and it's super dope. So I don't know, Jess, if you want to bump it, then then bump it. Do have a couple more quick shout outs to do. A fellow named Hunter wrote to me recently and said, hey Nick, my name is Hunter. Uh, I am a private in the Oklahoma National Guard. I've been vaping for about a year now and it's all thanks to my 12 year old sister. She begged me to stop dipping and I finally broke down and bought a vape to wean off of nicotine. I'm now almost eight months tobacco free. 
But to the meat and potatoes of this email, my little, my little sister was diagnosed with T-cell leukemia at the age of 12. Oh my God. We love watching your videos together because she saved me from death by snuff can and your videos helped keep my head up when I wanted a pinch of snuff. So what I'm asking is, can my sister get a shout out for being the driving force behind me quitting tobacco and helping me kill the can? Thank you so much. Grim and I love you, Balia. Um, absolutely, your sister is getting the most shout outs of all time. Bump the screen, uh, Hunter's sister, Balia. That's, I, I don't, I'm not even going to pretend to know what that's like. Um, all of my, all of my good thoughts and vibes are, are definitely headed to your sister, Hunter. Um, and that's awesome. I mean, keep do keep doing what you're doing you know getting off of other tobaccos not just smoking but getting away from other tobaccos is a thing that you know a lot of people don't realize that vaping can do but vaping can definitely do that so yeah i mean you are you are definitely shouted out i do also have a birthday shout out this is, is i have two two birthday shout outs this is the last vlog of the year so adam your birthday is on december 30th boom you are shouted out i hope you have a fantastic birthday additionally parker uh his 19th birthday is on december 22nd which is today which happens to be vlog day he was wondering if he could get a birthday shout out boom you are definitely definitely shouted out Happy freaking 19th birthday. If you guys had any idea how old I actually was, there's no way that a 19 year old would be watching my videos, but you don't, so cool. Thank you, bump it. Is this another birthday shout out that I didn't do? Did I shout out Lucas last week? Fuck it, I don't care, we're gonna do it again. Uh, Phil wrote to me, Davey wrote to me and said, hey, I was contacting you today because my brother Lucas has started vaping a year and a half ago and ever since he has watched your channel on YouTube religiously. Well, his birthday is coming up in about a month on December 30th and I have been deciding what to get him for his birthday, but I have no money. <laughs> And I also know how much he loves your channel. So it seemed the perfect idea for you to shout him out. I really appreciate it. I know he would love it. Thank you for your time. Definitely, Lucas, you are shouted out. This is from your brother, Davey. This is your birthday present from your brother, Davey. He spent no money on it, but it's still a good birthday present. Just bump it. Just bump that fist, bro. So yeah, let's, uh, you know what? We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. We've got all the all of my favorite vapes of 2016 to talk about, as well as a whole mess of first impressions. Before we get into that, you know what I want to do just real quick? I promise this will be like five minutes. I, I, I want to drink some beer. We have so much stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, all of my top favorite vapes of 2016, as well as a whole mess of first impressions that I'm gonna have to, it's gonna be a nightmare to edit. This is gonna be like, I'm gonna open boxes and look at the device and take it out and set it up and vape it. But that's not a problem for present Nick, that's a problem for future video editing Nick. So yeah, I mean, F that guy, he can deal with that stuff. I'm gonna do the first impressions here, but before we get to any of that, I'm not gonna be able to survive any of that without at least some beer in my system. So what we have tonight is oh, Oak Jacked Imperial Pumpkin Ale, aged in oak barrels. This comes from the Crooked Line. This comes from Unita Brewing Company. This is also a bottle of beer that got left at my house on Thanksgiving. So just be forewarned, if you come to my house for Thanksgiving and you leave beer here, I will drink it on video. Unfortunately, bum bum bum. Oh, it does have a cork on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this. Oh God, I hate corks. The cork fear is real. Hashtag cork fear. I did it. Fuck yeah, Oak Jacked Imperial Pumpkin Ale. I'm gonna be pouring this into my uh, Grim Army Tulip style glass. It's a little bit lighter than I thought it would be. Usually with Imperial things, things that say Imperial barrel aged, yada, yada, yada. It's usually a much uh, darker color, but as you can see, it's kind of like a slightly translucent -y amber. It's got a big, nice head on top that I am definitely going to have to drink through like a man. I know nothing about this beer, so we're just going to go in blind and taste it. Cheers. Here's to you, vlog viewers. Dig. 
Ooh, dig that beer a lot. That is good. That's a high alcohol beer, man. Is it going to make me all messed up? How does it not have the goddamn ABV on here? Hey, it's brewed in Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. Keep cold. Barrel age. 750 mils. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's a 10.3 alcohol by volume, which is great. I mean, that'll be great. That'll be that'll be just great for drinking. I'm getting some uh, sort of like Belgian quad characteristics from this. There's some spiciness and not like sriracha Tabasco spiciness, but like, like cardamom uh, spiciness, like cinnamon cardamom spiciness. I am getting some serious, uh, uh, pardon me, serious like uh, dark notes in here, like deep raisin flavors like that raisiny quality that you get from a lot of belgian quads that's exactly what i'm getting from this it is a very like wintertime fall wintertime ale and i did say i would keep this segment under five minutes so what we're gonna do is just one real quick vape pairing uh this is a fairy wings from r and r vapors which we're gonna be talking about a little bit later when we get to my five favorite juices of 2016 got this on my christmas setup Look how Christmassy that is. Red Grim Army Hexome, green recoil, red recoil top cap, and then a green tip. I mean, that's red and green and red and Christmassy all over. We're going to be talking about both of these things. Both of these devices, this RDA and this mod, are also in my favorite vapes of 2016. We're going to pair it up, some fairy wings and some, what the crap is this thing called? Oak Jacked Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Boom, roasted. Great. That is a freaking great pairing. That is a freaking delicious pairing. That's one of the best pairings of the year that I've ever had. Fairy Wings and this Oak Jacked Pumpkin Barrel Aged Ale. Wow, really good. Also, clicking over to Beer Advocate, it's got an 89-89 score, which means it's a, it's a very good beer. I would personally rate this beer much much higher. I'm sure it's not like a full 100%, you know, like amazing, amazing, amazing beer, but I think it definitely deserves a little bit more love than it's getting on Beer Advocate. I would rate this much higher. It is really easy to drink. It's not too carbonated or effervescent. It's just really nice and smooth. I get those deep raisin, like almost like dark cherry notes, but I do get a little bit of that like nutmeggy cardamom spiciness in it. Uh, it's like a fall, like a fall spicy flavor. Flavor. Really freaking delicious. All right, cool. Well, now that I have some beer in the tank and I got a beer to help me through the rest of this vlog, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get into my favorite vapes of 2016. We're going to start it off with liquids. All right, so liquids. There were a lot of really good liquids in 2016. I mean, I personally tasted and tried a lot, a lot of liquids thanks to my new Tuesday Bro Tuesday program, which you can watch me here yeah, every Tuesday for Tuesday Bro Tuesday. Tuesday Bro Tuesday is going to be starting back up in January, but uh, I've started tasting like random juices in that video, and because of that, I've got to try like a lot of juices, like a, a lot of really good juices. Um, these aren't in any particular order. This is just my few of my of my favorite juices from 2016. First up is a juice that I vape, I mean, constantly, 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 constantly. It's from the Grim Green Signature line and it's Vlog Day. It is absolutely hands down one of my favorite juices. I like uh, sweet citrusy juices and this is a lemon cream macaroon cookie. It's just, I, I love this. I mean, since we have created this juice, I've probably vaped a liter of it. I mean, I'm not even joking, I vape so much of this juice, it's almost criminal. Got it on the Axis Vapes M17, which we're gonna be talking about a little bit later, and the Cosmonaut RDA, which we're gonna be talking about a little bit later. Super good, super good juice. This was in my top five last year, and it's in my favorite vapes this year. Uh, Mai from Lane Cove. I mean, come on, this is, I mean, if I had to even choose one juice that would be like my favorite juice for the rest of my life, it would definitely be Mai from Lane Cove. This is definitely an acquired taste and don't take anything as I'm saying right now as like Bible truth like these are the best juices objectively universally because my least favorite thing on earth is when someone buys a juice that I really love like my or fairy wings and then they go I bought this based on Grimm's recommendation and it's just so bad I can't even vape it it tastes like pig aid is my is freaking delicious. I love, love, love it, but I love also the candy that this was based off of. I grew up uh, 
eating this candy, eating like a black currant gummy pastille. <clears throat> Pardon me. Gross. Those black currant gummy pastille candies, I, I love them. They're part of my childhood, and that's what this reminds me of. I first had this well over a year ago, and it has remained uh, absolutely one of my favorite juices. I, I, there's not a day that goes by where I don't vape Mai. It's in a tank. It's in two things right now. I just love Mai so much. Next thing up, this just kind of came out of nowhere. Adore E-Liquid's Hazy Custard. Uh, it's great. Mr. Tooney on Instagram hooked me up with a 30 mil bottle earlier in this year, and I vaped through all of it. I love this juice. This is one of the few juices that I can really vape in six milligram. I have it in this little setup right here, this little Vaporesso Taro Nano kit in six milligram. It, it's really just a delightful vape. It's like, it's not, it's not, I don't know, it's not really super unique and I know that's kind of whatever it is it's whatever it's not really super unique it's just very approachable it's a nice smooth sweet-ish custard flavor I mean a, while, a number of years ago custards were like everything like everybody was vaping custards just custard 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 it was crazy it's like 2014 2013 2014 custards were in Insane. Insane. And this happens to be a custard that's released here in 2016, and I just, it's something I just really enjoy. So with all of these top five favorite vapes, um, some of them I have in setups, some of them are going to be vaped, some of them aren't, some of them I don't even have on hand right now. So I'm going to try to show you and vape them, vape as many of them as I can, but it's not going to be, uh, you know, 100% coverage. The second to last flavor that I absolutely love that I can't get enough of is, again, from the Grim Green Signature line. This is Bro Trip. I designed this juice to appeal to one person, and that one person is Dwayne. And once I got his seal of approval, then I knew we were good to go. This is a strawberry peach limeade flavor. I love it. I I mean, I love it. I cannot get enough of this. Like this, if I could choose three juices, this vlog day and Mai, that would be it. That's all I would vape for the rest of my life. If there was no other juice on earth, as long as I had vlog day or bro trip or Mai, then I would be set. Um, chances are, uh, one of these juices is in one or two setups at any given time. It's a juice that I never stop vaping. So good. So good. And lastly, we just did it in the beer pairing, but uh, Fairy Wings from r, &R Vapors. Holy crap. I mean, it, it's so good. It's so good. I mean, I subjectively, I love it so much. I, I crave it. It's a juice that I literally crave. If I'm not vaping it, if it's not in a setup, it's something that I literally, literally crave. Um, I've got it in my Hexome, which again, we're gonna be talking about a little bit later. And it's topped with a recoil, which again, we're gonna be talking about a little bit later. This is a vape that is not going to leave my hand throughout the entire Christmas season, not only because it's super, super Christmassy, because Fairy Wing has like a, a little bit of like a, a, a wintertime, fall kind of flavory situation, but because it's got that like coconut flavor in it, I know that it's going to be good like well into the summer. This is like a very unique vape in that it's like a summertimey vape, wintertimey vape, summertimey vape. God, it's good. I just simply love it. I can't get enough of it. In fact, I love it so much. Um, look at this. r, &R Vapors hooked up a liter of Fairy Wings. This is unbelievable. I showed this off on my Instagram. I love it. I will, without a doubt, 100% vape this. In fact, let's start a timer right now. Starting in December, right now, how long will it take me to get through this bottle of juice? Just let me know in the comments below. How long do you think it'll take me to get through this? I have an idea in my head just based on how much I vape it. How long do you think it'll take me to get through this entire liter of fairy wings? I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. So uh, yeah, after liquids, let's let's talk about RDAs. Do the RDA bumper here, dude. So once again, in no particular order, starting off right here with the Hadley RDA. It's, it's just good. It's a little single coil banger. It's got nice, tight, 
tight airflow. You take a nice little smooth draw on it, like a longer, not as not as sharp draw on it, and it's gonna give you, at least it gives me some of the best flavor I've ever had in a dripper. It's unbelievable. The Hadley RDA is super, super great. This is one that I don't have set up at the moment, but I got this way back in March or February, I believe. This is the Goldie from BMI. Anybody remember the Goldie from BMI? This is... This is a great RDA. This is one of my favorite RDAs of the year. I vaped, I remember very vividly at VCC Tampa, vaping uh, Lane Cove Nola out of the Goldie RDA and just pausing for a second and looking at it and going, God, this is a really, really great vape. This is one that I don't have set up, but dude, I love the Goldie RDA. I just love it. Another one that I don't have set up right now, the Goon. I mean. You, you can't mention RDAs in 2016 without mentioning the Goon. It was awesome. It still is awesome. The airflow, oh, so nice, so smooth. I love all of the neat matchy matchy drip tips that Jess Marie DHD did for these all around just a really stellar RDA. This is an RDA that has never been retired so i keep a i keep some vape gear in my desk that constantly comes out for rotation things like the goon things like the goldie where occasionally i'll just pull it out wick it vape it for like two months and then put it back in my desk when things get retired retired they go into a box and then they go into my closet and then i don't vape them again until they come back in like a retro vaping segment the goon's just never going to get retired it's all around a really good rda 528 custom vapes did an amazing job with this and blue-eyed goon you designed a really stellar rda i mean easily i mean with without question, one of the best of 2016. And of course, wrapping it all up, it's the recoil, dude. It's the recoil RDA. I I don't care. I am a really huge fan of this RDA. I love it from top to bottom. I love the fit and finish. I really like the deck and I love, absolutely, hands down, love this airflow. As much as I love the Goon, as much as I love the Hadley, as much as I love the Goldie, I believe in my humble opinion, that the recoil has some of the smoothest, best airflow on the market. Hot damn, that is a good RDA. Um, some honorable mentions are going to be uh, the Velocity version 2, super great RDA as well. The Cosmonaut, uh, obviously as well. This is a really great RDA. I just haven't spent enough time with it. Um, it came out December of 2016. So to get into the best RDAs or my favorite RDAs of 2016, I would have need to spend a lot more time with it. But honorable mention definitely goes out to the Cosmonaut as well as honorable mention goes out to the Pharaoh RDTA. I didn't know what category to put that in. It's not a tank. I look at it as a dripper with just like a, an extra deep juice well. I have been using the Pharaoh uh, in every Tuesday Bro Tuesday video for my random juice tasting, and every single time I wick it and drip it and vape it, I go, damn, this is a, this is a good vape. Like, this is a good vape. So, Pharaoh definitely gets uh, an honorable mention as well. So, yeah, a lot of RDAs. You know what? 2016 was a really good year for RDAs, and uh, yeah, it's a shame. Let's see what happens in 2017. Let's get these regs overturned so that we can have some more dope-ass RDAs. There's still a bunch of RDAs on the market that I haven't even tried, like the Goon, uh, the Low Pro Goon RDA. Um, there's other RDAs right now that I can't possibly think of that I haven't got to try. I haven't got to try that Twisted Messes, the Square RDA. I have spent very little time with that Twisted Messes 30 millimeter RDA. So you never know. Let's see how 2017 shapes up. Um, after RDAs, it kind of only makes sense to go into tanks. So it seems like every year there's a K-Fun that I really, really like, with the exception of like the K-Fun version 4. But this year, uh, K-Fun Mini V3 Hands down, one of my favorite tanks of the year. I love it with a high nicotine juice. This build on here is uh, 0.2, 0.2, not 0.2, 2 ohms. <laughs> oh, 
what? 0.2? No, this is two ohms. I have it set to a whopping 16 watts here on the Digiflavor DF60. Uh, this is the 18 milligram, uh, 50-50, uh, Mai again, and this, this vape. You guys, this vape is just mouth to lung happiness. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, K-Fun Mini V3. Next up after that, uh, the Serpent Mini. Amazing. I mean, this is an amazing tank. Watofo did an amazing job with the Serpent Mini tank. This is a little single coil banger. I remember taking this with me to a uh, Dallas Vape Showcase, and I, I loved it. I love this vape. It's really easy to build, really easy to wick, really easy to fill. You just pop the top off and fill it up. Additionally, it uses my favorite drip tips, the old dot mod drip tips that I just love to death. They fit in there so well. Overall, I really, really liked this tank this year. I don't think you can talk about tanks in 2016 without talking about the Mage from Coil Art. The original Mage from Coil Art is still, hands down, one of my favorite tanks. This isn't one that's like set up right now. I haven't been using it actively recently, but the vape experience that I get from this tank, the Mage from Coil Art, Great. I mean, it is a stellar, stellar tank. The fit and finish on it is really nice. It's easy, really easy to unscrew this top, to pop your top off right there, blah, fill your juice in there, pop this back down, screw it back down. It's great. Overall, ah, this is just a really great tank. I, I'm, I'm really like half tempted right now if there's a build in here to like wick it and vape it. Uh, okay, so I don't have a build in there right now. If there was a build in here, I would definitely 100% wick this, throw some Mai in there, and just vape the crap out of it. But if you've never got to try the Coil Art Mage, the original Coil Art Mage, do yourself a favor and at least entertain the idea of possibly trying one because I think it's I think it was one of the best uh, tanks of 2016 and lastly I wanted to include some sort of coil head based sub ohm tank and when I think back on 2016 what was my favorite coil head based sub ohm tank not an RTA not an RDTA just a sub ohm tank that you plug a coil head in and you vape V God trick tank done. Hands down, love the V-God Trick Tank. I love the airflow. It does not have an adjustable airflow, but I truly love the airflow on this. It's just nice and smooth, if not a little bit loud, but I got nothing but great performance and great flavor from this tank. Got it loaded up with Bro Trip right now, sitting on the vaporized Nomads Boss Genesis, which we're going to be talking about a little bit later without completely spoiling the rest of my favorite vapes of 2016. It's just an all-around great vape. I love how long the coil heads lasted me. I love the amount of wattage that I can put through these coil heads. This is a 0.24, and I can set this to 78 watts and vape very, very comfortably, and I get nothing but delicious, dense, warm vapor into my mouth hole. Super good. Wow, just a super good tank. Uh, what do I have on here for the honorable mentions? Yes, the Mage GTA. So the Mage GTA was a follow-up to the original Mage from Coil Art. Very, very nice tank. It's like one of those hybrid... RTAs, RDTAs, like the coils aren't quite at the bottom. The coils are kind of in the middle of the tank, so it kind of works more like an RDTA, but it still wicks as well as an RTA. The Mage GTA is a super nice tank, but again, this came out really late in the game, late in 2016, and I just haven't spent enough time with it, but I really like this vape. Rockin' normal view in there, and that is a super delicious vape. Uh, last thing I have on my honorable mention, KFUN 5. KFUN 5 came out in 2016, and it was Svoimesto's first, like, lung tank, like, restricted lung tank, and great. I mean, it's a super good tank, if not a little bit on the expensive side, and, you know, you can kind of get a similar-ish restricted lung experience from some other tanks in the market. I can easily take this Mage GTA tank and like turn off the airflow about halfway. Feels almost identical to a K-Fun 5. 
So the K-Fun 5 gets an honorable mention. Let's move on. I haven't separated the mods into different categories. I haven't done like low wattage or high wattage mods. So we're just gonna do mods. So starting off the list of mods, no one at all is going to be surprised by any of these mods that I'm talking about. Axis Vapes M17, I mean, right out of the gate, this is at zero battery, that's how much I've been using it. Um, I got one for a review, I bought another one, I just love the Axis Vapes M17s. I go to their website on the reg and just oogle their mods and consider spending another $350 on a DNA 200 mod that I don't need at all. They just look so beautiful and they're so nice and so readily available. Everything about the Axis Vapes M17 from top to bottom is just, it's just great. It's machined really well and crafted really well and the blocks of stabilized wood and acrylic they use are just super nice. I mean, obviously, sure, no one's surprised. Axis Vapes M17, I need to get this on the charger right now. Next thing on the list, Praxis Banshee. I was really surprised and taken back by this mod this year. It was so unique. It has clicky buttons. It's got a really good now, really good 510 on top. It's got a nice soft, like sort of plasticky, sort of rubbery finish on there that's just really nice to hold. It's very ergonomic when you hold it in your hand. It's very, very comfortable. And it's got that unique display on here. And this one doesn't have any batteries. And it's no point in talking about the display if you can't see it. And it's just way too bright and you can't see it anyway. But it's got that really unique display along the side it's kind of like dots like I don't know like pixels on there it's not like a screen and when it go when it turns off it kind of disappears like behind the finish of this and at first it's weird but it's really easy to see resistance is 0.23 I have this set to 70 watts this is the v-god trick tank on here really nice vape and when you vape it says baby baby sig go <laughs> I don't know why it says that. It's just something it says. Watch. Can you see it? Nope, it didn't happen that time. I don't know why it didn't happen that time. It says, love, baby, baby, sig go. I don't know. That's a thing. Really enjoy this mod. I think it's easily one of the best of 2016. Now this is something that hasn't been on video a lot. I've posted pictures on Instagram and it's been in a couple videos, but it hasn't got a full review or been in the Tuesday Bro Tuesday queue. This is the Boss Genesis from Vaporized Nomads. And what makes this mod so unique is the all over graphics that they do. As you can see on here, it kind of has the grim green, then it has the DHD logo, and then it's got our collaboration logo, and then it has a uh, black metal guy from Dark Throne, and there's like flames and fire, and then fire back here. You can't really appreciate it on video, but when you see it in real life, it just looks beautiful. I've seen some of the other wraparound graphics that they've done for other people, and every time I see one, even if the graphics aren't particular my cup of tea, like if it's like, I don't know, like a muscly dragon or something, I go, oh, that's not for me, but it looks so cool, like the full wraparound graphics. At the end, this is just a LiPo-powered DNA 200, but the graphics on these boxes are what make them so unique, and so I feel like I have to include this in my coolest, best vapes of 2016. It's something I used a lot. I took it with me to Europe and used it daily. It's just a nice daily banger that happens to also look very, very cool. So shout out to Vaporize Nomads and their boss Genesis. They named this one the Death Rattle. Just a super cool vape all around. In fact, this with the V-God uh, trick tank on here and bro trip on the inside, this is gonna be one of my staple vapes easily for like the next month. And lastly, as it's been mentioned a few times already, the Hexome 3.0, I mean, I love the Hexomes. I've loved the Hexomes since the first Hexomes. I love the 1.5. I love the 2. And no surprise, yeah, I really love the 3. This is the Grim Army Edition, Hexome 3.0, green recoil on top. We've talked about this already a million times. Ruby Roo actually showed me how to swap out the buttons on this, and it's so easy. I can't believe I have never done it before. I've always viewed the Hexome as like my daily banger, like my most reliable daily banger mod is always the Hexome 3.0. 
of the three Hexome 3.0s that I had, I had one that was faulty and Craving Vapor took care of it, no problems. Uh, I signed up not as like Grim Green, I just was Nick Green, I used a different email address. They said, okay, here's your ticket, you can see everything, mail this back to us, you can see the process of the repair, you can get your tracking info and we send it back to you. All in all, it was like a week long process and it came back and it has never worked better. I have three Hexome 3.0s, I that that's it. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. I see them as like my lo most reliable daily banger mods. I like Craving Vapor and I love the Hexome 3.0. So yeah, dude, that's it. That's my favorite vapes of 2016. I feel like we covered a lot. As far as links for all of these, YouTube doesn't like really extra, extra, extra long descriptions. So these are things that you may have to Google. Um, if you Google Recoil RDA, there'll be places to buy it. If you Google Fairy Wings from RNR Vapors, there's places you'll be able to find it. If you Google Lane Cove from Mai, if you Google Vaporize Nomads, if you Google V God Trick Tank, if you Google Mage, uh, Coil Art Mage, there'll be places to find it. I'm not going to have specific links in the description to all of my top favorite vapes of 2016, but these are all things that are easily Googleable. Sure, is Googleable a word? Well, if it's not, it just became a word. These are things that are all easily Googleable. Um, I'll have links in the description to, you know, most everything else that I talk about as far as liquids and mods and stuff like that. But YouTube doesn't like really long descriptions. This is the problem I ran into last year with my top five favorite everything video is I wasn't able to include all the links in the description to YouTube. YouTube was like, no, your description's way too long, bro. So I'm like, well, what the crap am I supposed to do now? So Google. Google is your friend. You can Google all of these things and uh, find them for places to buy on the internet. Use your vape budget hands, use your Google Foo, find some nice uh, cheap places or wherever you wanna buy it. So yeah, dude, that was, uh, that was awesome. My favorite vapes of 2016. So much good stuff. So much good stuff in 2016. IMO, it was a great year for RDAs. It was a great year for tanks. Um, Mods was meh, it was a thing. If it wasn't for the Axis Vapes M17, I kind of would have said it's been a very meh year for mods. Like the M17 and the Banshee really kind of stood out to me, but there was a lot of stuff from China that was just really like more of the same. It's like, oh, here's another single 18650 80 watt box mod. Here's a 26650 80 watt box mod. Here's a single 18650 60 watt box mod. They were cranking them out of China, and uh, <clears throat> you know what? I would love to see some more original designs. If it wasn't for the FDA, damn you FDA. I don't know, who knows what's gonna happen in 2016 or 2017 rather, but I would love to see some more, much more original designs for mods. Something unique, something interesting, something maybe that's not just like 200 watt box mod. Okay, square 200 watt box mod, cool. I mean, we've had that for years now. It's time to, it's time to up your game just a little bit. Anyway, I'm... Pardon me, I'm burping and I'm getting rambly. Let's, uh, I'm gonna clean up just a little bit and I'm gonna air out some of this vapor and we're gonna start tearing into these boxes. We got a whole mess of first impressions to do, friends. All right, well, let's do some freaking first impressions. So this is what's gonna wrap up this video is these freaking first impressions. I am gonna end up with some comments of the week, but first things first, I am gonna need a gigantic garbage bag because that's what opening vape mail consists of. So this one, as you can see, look at that. Good good job, DHL. Way to, way to keep this package safe. This one is wrapped in Sense Tape from Sense Tech in China. So I have a feeling like I kind of already know what's in here. I know they were, they had a new uh, tank. Oh, it's a mod. It's a mod and a tank. Okay, the tank is the blazer. It's the blazer tank. Oh, blazer. It's like laser with a B in front of it. So let's get that off of there. It looks a lot like the TF V8 tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that tank to the side. And what I'm gonna do is grab out this blazer. Blazer 200 kit comes in a nice little box here. It's got a, a picture of the mod on the front of it and it looks pretty cool. Let's see, uh, designed and manufactured by Sig Great. This is another mini USB, which is something that I just, I simply don't need in my life. It does come with some tank extra parts. 
So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna throw this away. This tank. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of coil heads in here too. Oh, there's a second blazer tank in black. And then a bunch of uh, what look like coil heads or are these batteries? Oh, these are coil heads. So there's an RBA base for it, ceramic, and then 0.2 regular coil heads. So I'm gonna keep that. The rest of this, including the box, including this, you're all getting thrown away. Well, let's take a look at this mod real fast. Wow, it that is really ergonomic. It is shaped like a freaking raindrop. Do you see how this mod is shaped? Look at that. That is crazy. Is this a single 26650? Nope, it's a triple 18650. Yeehaw! Oh, that makes me so happy. It is a little bit clunky in the hand. Like, it, it's it's a lot like the Relo in the way that it's shaped. This already has paint chips missing. There's a chip taken out of the paint right here on the white. I'm not even joking. I'll zoom in and show you. You see right there? That's a, you can see the stainless steel underneath. That's a chip taken out of the paint. And then there's additionally, there's some marring up here. There's a little one down here with the paint taken out right there, but that is a that is a legit chip taken out of the paint. Brand new, right out of the box, chipped already. So yeah, let's get some 18650s in here. Let's vape this thing. I still have a triple pair of LG HE4 batteries. So that goes positive side up. That goes positive side down. And that goes positive side down. Interesting. Interesting, interesting choice. Look at that. Blazer. No atomizer. Screen is on the side, which is great. Um, screens that point in my face when I'm vaping um, kind of honestly, truly and honestly annoy me a little bit. Oh, weird. Okay, so it has this like hinge system, but the whole top of this rotates slightly to lock it into place and you go dunk and you can feel it pop and then it opens and you can feel those and then it grabs and closes wow that is a really that is a really interesting design wow that is open airflow that is super open airflow i really want to put donut pounder in this for some reason big old honk and coil heads in there and i can't tell if this is a okay so this is a ceramic one i don't want to use that i don't want to use the ceramic one i just want to use the regular Give me just some canthal with cotton. We'll be good. This one is the .2. Okay, so this is the tank I want to use. I don't want to use that ceramic one. Oh God, there's an O-ring. Where does this O-ring go? Okay, that O-ring goes on the bottom. So we're gonna plug this into the base. I'm gonna drip some juice in here. We're gonna get this all set up and we're gonna vape it. Pretty friggin' easy to fill with that pop top, sort of top on the, uh, on the tank, really easy to fill. It's got two large shaped kidney holes, kidney, kidney shaped holes, kidney holes, what? Large kidney shaped holes. And then, like I said before, you just press this down and you can feel like the silicone like squish together. So you know it's a nice tight seal and then you spin the top and that's it. It just stays in place. Removable drip tip. I'm assuming that's uniquely sized. Airflow's closed off. <sighs> Airflow's opened up. This is this is without a doubt. This Blazer tank and Blazer 200 watt box mod, box. <laughs> I don't know what you would call that. Teardrop shaped mod. This is designed. You can tell specifically to compete with the Smoke Tech TFV8. So all right. Well, so we'll set the wattage to about 35 watts, and we'll just give it a couple dry pulls before. Uh, Getting any juice, I'm gonna turn off the airflow, do a couple pulls to get the juice flowing. All right, we're gonna start it off at a really low wattage. Nope, oh, I can hear it barely crackling in there, just barely crackling. Nope. <laughs> I got a little bit of flavor in my mouth. So let's crank this up. Let's just start off at 50 watts. Wow, this uh, 0.2 coil head is going to need some serious wattage for it. Let's turn it up to uh, 74 watts. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting a little bit in there. Let's turn it up to 90 watts. 
nothing still really nothing happening here at 90 watts this is going to need more wattage i can't believe it that this is going to need more wattage so let's try how about 130 watts 130 watts with a sub ohm tank There we go, holy crap, 130 watts. That is nice, nice and warm. I've got donut pounder in here, it is tasting delicious. It's a little spitty. If I had to say something about it so far, it's a little bit spitty. Wow, that is crazy. It's blocking out my light. <laughs> that is crazy. So, what we have is a big old teardrop. It's designed, it's a teardrop shape, triple 18650, 200 watts. Display is on the side, clicky up down buttons, click fire button. I do like the white black aesthetics. I would have liked maybe a black or a white tank. I probably should have put the black tank on here, but the stainless steel is going to have to do for now. I have a feeling this is going to tear through juice. This is a triple coil 0.2 ohm point, 0.2 ohm build. It says it's good from 60 to 200 watts. I've never vaped at 200 watts. I've never really vaped above like 110 watts. Let's try 160 watts. Why not? 0.2 at 160 watts? That seems legit, right? Let me back up and do like cloud comp status. Yeah, that is a, uh, good lord, that is a serious, serious sub-ohm tank. Ha! Hachi machi. All right, we're gonna back that down to about 120 watts. Wow, first impressions, it's big, it's bulky. Obviously, this tank is designed to compete directly with the Smoketech DFV8. And this has a drip tip adapter. Wonder what size that is. Wonder if that's goon sized. If that's goon sized, that would make me so happy. Oh! It is! Okay, so it's not quite goon sized. Like this goon tip, it's pressure fit, and I could easily jam this down in there. It just barely fits in there. I could easily jam that down in there, but I would never be getting that drip tip out of there. But, God, it's so close to being goon sized. It is so close to being goon sized. That bums me out that it's not goon sized, but. What are you gonna do? All right, Blazer 200 watt kit. Cool, you're unboxed, you're set aside. Coil heads are there, uh, spare O-rings and whatnot are there, and the drip tip adapter is there. You, This all gets thrown away. Packaging, packaging rarely sticks around. These coil heads are gonna be hard to miss. They're gigantic, so that's gonna go into my coil head collection right there. All right, I'm actually pretty excited about that uh, about that little blazer kit. Let's open this. What is, where did this come from? This came from Inokin, and I don't know what's coming up from Inokin, but uh, their boxes are always really hard to get into. I don't even see a seam on here. Okay, there's a seam. All right, what do we got from Inokin? Oh, they sent me a letter. Let's see what the letter says. It's a Christmas card. Merry Christmas from Inakin. Nick, from all of us at Inakin, we wish you and your loved ones a happy and joyous holiday season and new year. Thanks for everything and all you do. The best. Stay on target. Someone at Inakin made a Star Wars reference in my credit in my credit card, in my Christmas card. Pam George. Stay on target. That's awesome. Inokin just earned uh, a lot of cool points with me right now for making a Star Wars reference, but what, what is here from Inokin? Oh no, this isn't even vape mail. This is just a Christmas gift. Why is this in the first impressions? It's a Christmas gift. I'm opening a Christmas gift in a vlog. Oh, this is their, uh, okay. Well, it's not exactly a Christmas gift, but it is the MVP version four. <laughs> Inokin hasn't released an MVP in a while, and this is their MVP version 4. And if you are a long time, and I mean long time viewer of my uh, videos and vlogs, you will know in the past how much I have absolutely adored the Inokin MVP products. They are always like self-contained lipos. It's got a pretty clicky button, one, two, three. This one's Christmassy. It says, Happy Holidays 2017. Red. Might have been cool. Green might have been cool, but black with snowflakes. Sure. Happy holidays, 2017. Check atomizer. I don't have an atomizer to put on here. This is okay. Okay, let's find an atomizer. Let's steal this one from the uh, from the Relo RX Mini Kit. Let's put it on here. Cool, cool. 
Uh, this is a new coil. One, two, three. Okay, we want wattage. There we go. 20 watts. Nope, we're gonna turn this up. How high does this MVP version 4 go? Oh, we're past 80. 90? 100 watts. Wow, the MVP version 4 does 100 watts, and there's a lipo on the inside. So let's turn this back down to 60 watts. That's where I was rocking it on the Relo RX Mini Kit. 64 watts. It's the same size as other Inakins. It's the same size as other Inakins. Does six to 100 watts. It's got a 4,500 ma or milliamp or battery on the inside, and it can support two amp quick charging. It's all matte black, except for the top and bottom are like a shiny plastic material. MVP4, button on the side. Dude, that's cool, Inakin. <laughs> I don't know, I have a sentimental place in my heart for the Inokin MVP products. Ever since the MVP1, MVP2, MVP3, I've really liked the MVPs. Um, I really liked the other MVPs because yeah, look at that, it's got a USB out. The MVPs have always had a USB out. And I remember one time there, I was at Disneyland, this is a number of years ago, and I was charging my phone from my Inokin mod. And I was vaping my mod and charging my phone and it was just an all around great situation. The MVPs have always been a good travel device. And I even like that. Happy holidays, 2014. And I got to unwrap a gift. Let's tear some more wrapping paper because it's, it's Christmas and that's what you do. Okay, well we're definitely gonna keep that card, but the rest of this, including all of the packaging, yeah, you're gonna go away. You're gonna, you're gonna go away. But dang, that's cool. I don't know how much this is gonna cost, but if it's more than like 45 to 50 bucks, that's gonna be a long shot. It doesn't feel really high quality. Like when you grab a high quality box mod, it doesn't feel super high quality. It feels a little bargain, which is fine. There, those, those mods need to exist. Bargain mods need to exist. Daily banger, reliable bargain mods need to exist. So I am, I am glad that uh, Inokin released the MVP version four. Cool. Well, we're blazing right along here. Let's let's uh, let's put that to the side. Let's uh, let's open this. Don't know who it's from. But uh, we're gonna open it. Remember kids, always cut away from yourself. Don't cut into yourself like I do. Cut away from yourself. Away. Let's see what's in here. Oh wait, this might be from Joy Tech. Oh it is. Oh Lord. This is the Ocular C. Ha <laughs> ha! This is a touchscreen mod because the world needs touchscreen mods. They sent me uh, one touchscreen mod, which is great. So we're gonna throw the packaging away down there. Let's open this up. Ocular C. I'm assuming that there's some sort of software or something like that. Dual 18650, door on the bottom, pretty standard issue for Inokin. Let's throw some batteries in there. Positive goes up, negative goes up. That snaps into place. Ooh, you have a very fancy display right there. Ooh. Oh, and you have to, s okay. That's actually kind of cool. You have to slide to unlock it. No atomizer found. The display on this is actually quite nice. So now it's unlocked. Um, I don't want nickel. How do I change? Let's go to wattage mode. Okay, wow, that's pretty easy. Uh, wattage up. We're gonna turn it way down. What can I put on this? What should I put on this? What should I put on this? We'll put that V-God trick tank on here since it's just kind of sitting right here. Wow, those threads are really stiff. Maybe they just need a little bit of time to break in. I'm sure there's a spring-loaded 510 in there, but these threads, like once I get that far down, they become really stiff, but it does sit flush. So we're gonna switch this back to wattage, no, wattage mode. We're gonna turn this way down to like, what was I rocking it at before? About 70 watts. Oh, you can hold it and it goes down to 70 watts. 69, 69.1, 69.5, 70 watts. So I'm assuming when I press the button, it says atomizer short? Why is it saying atomizer short? Okay, I think it's time for an instruction manual. Let's uh, look, see, and see what we have here. I don't know how to get this to wattage mode. It starts off in nickel temperature mode 
and I don't know how to get it to wattage mode. USB port? Oh god, it has a headphone jack. Oh god. Why does it have a headphone jack, Joy Tech? Can I listen to music on this? Is there a flash hard drive in this mod? So you slide right or left to switch one, two, three, four, five. Let's turn you on. Unlocked. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how it works. You have to swipe across the screen. You can go from TCR, stainless steel, titanium, nickel. Okay, now we're in wattage mode. So let's turn this back up to 60, 70 watts. 65 watts, sure. Why is it saying atomizer short? This Vega trick tank has worked on literally everything else I've put it on. Why is it saying atomizer short? Okay. <laughs> You're, I mean, I'm not lying here. That is flashing atomizer short. For some reason, it does not not like this V-God Trick Tank Pro. Or V-God Trick Tank, rather. Ra V-God Trick Tank Just. Let's try the Shadow Vapor, the MGNT, since it's sitting right here. Yeah, that fire's fine. 65 watts, 0.25 ohms. Uh, it's giving me four volts. This display on this freaking Ocular C is gorgeous. Like that is a good looking display and it's locked so I can't adjust it or press it or anything. You actually, it's like the old iPhones. You have to slide the lock symbol to the other side to unlock it and then you swipe across the screen like this to go into all the different modes. Let's get it back to uh, variable wattage, 65 watts. And as soon as you press the button to fire it, it locks the screen. Okay, that's working for some reason. Why won't the V-God trick tank work on here? Huh? Joy Tech? Okay, well now it's firing fine. That was really weird. I mean, you saw it. It was flashing atomizer short, but we're going to keep it at 65 watts. Works. Works great. Now, why? Why does this have a headphone jack on it? Ooh, slide the device downward to get to the main menu. <gasps> Vape? It's a pedometer. You can count your steps. Oh, there's photos of weird looking guys vaping. <gasps> Why? Why is that guy in a tank top vaping with a big silver chain? There's a picture of the beach, a picture of tea. There's a picture of a race car on here. And there's just pictures of weird guys vaping. Okay, music. I can't believe this. I cannot believe that there is music on here. I, I need headphones. I need headphones. I need headphones. There is music. Can you hear that? What's the next track? What, the, what do they have preloaded on here? And I can still vape while it's playing music. This mod is playing music right now. Now I can't get it to stop playing music. <laughs> okay, that stopped. But it, now, now the screen's all messed up and it says it's in nickel mode, 225 degrees, but it's also playing music. Okay, well, here, let's turn it off. One, two, three, four, five. And let's turn it back on again. Maybe vaping with music, one, two, three, four, five, is like the fatal flaw of this. But yeah, there's a, a music player. What's the next track? It's all loaded up with, it's loaded up with classical music. That's coming from the mod right now. Oh, when you vape, it's supposed to shut off the music. It can store contacts, wireless vapor display. I can set my wallpaper on. Select picture. Yeah, I want that guy. No, I want uh, the T. That's what I want the T. Okay. So when I vape, it'll show me the wallpaper. That's amazing. I'm gonna turn the wallpaper off. Okay, okay, Joytech. The Ocular C is a thing. It's a pedometer, it plays music, you can set wallpapers, you can probably upload um, pictures to it. I wanna know if it supports Mac because that's all I use. So hopefully it supports Mac. I'm gonna go to the website uh, later and see what I can do with this device. That is interesting AF. For right now, I'm just gonna use it as a uh, <laughs> That's a 200 watt dual 18650 box mod. Look at that. I've never plugged headphones into a vape mod before, and I've certainly never listened to classical music while vaping Bro Trip out of the V God Trick Tank on the Joy Tech 
Ocular C. Okay. Well, cool. Cool, Joytech. First impressions, even if it didn't play music, and even if it was just a touchscreen 200 watt device, it's kind of a cool little touchscreen. The display looks really nice. I like that when you press the button and fire it, it locks it, and then you have to actually physically slide the little icon across the screen to unlock it. Like that's that's a very cool design. All right, well, obviously I'm gonna save the instruction manual. I'm gonna put the mod to the side. The rest of this packaging, including the USB charger, is going to get uh, thrown away. You know what, this is legitimately kind of fun, and I'm bummed that I only have two more packages to open. What is this? What are you? Segeli T200. Okay, so this is obviously a package from Segeli. A lot of tape. Segeli, you uh, you seem to love the, the tape situation happening here. What else is in here? The 218 WHE, no idea. And lastly, the G25 WHE, no idea. No idea what those are, but I do know what the Segeli T200 is. So let's open that up first, shall we? This is their box mod. Oh God, Segeli. Segeli loves the freaking silicone wraps. Look at that, silicone wrapped already. So first things first, silicone wrap, you come off because that is a that is a dumb thing. Oh, okay. And then you have this little screen protector. It says Bluetooth on here. I don't see a way to get the batteries. Oh, okay. Yeah, the back just pops off. And again, another dual 18650. Sure. So I got some doo-doo brown LG HE4s. So we'll put those in here. Positive up. Ribbon goes here, positive down. Oh, that is a fancy, bright, animated touch screen, Segeli. Wow, that back door has a lot of play in it. First thing I'm noticing, I don't know, up, down, side to side, it's got uh, it's got some play. Segeli, God, that display is even too bright for this. Okay, less impressive display than that Joy Tech, but... Uh, Looks like I can adjust my wattage up and I can adjust my wattage down. Where did that other atomizer go? Let's put you on here, Shadow. So let's adjust the wattage up to where I had it. Let's turn it up like, like uh, 73.5 watts. Yeah, it's gonna vape. So it's a 0.27 ohm coil. It gives me everything I need to, and then you're not gonna be able to see any of this on here, but it looks like I can swipe up and there's a menu, check the resistance. Okay, so it has a built-in resistance checker. Okay, so it's 0.266 Bluetooth. No, we're not gonna turn that on right now. Swipe up, uh, settings, day, time, wallpaper, puffs, font color. That's fancy and cool. Device information, okay. The M, you can switch between Power, stainless steel, titanium, nickel, TCR, and you're not gonna be able to see any of this. Can I turn the brightness down real fast so you can actually see this? There, can you see that a little bit better? Nope, that's the lowest I can turn it is 10%. Doesn't have as quite as an impressive display as that Joytech Oculus, whatever the fuck this thing is called. Ocular C, the display on the Ocular C is much, much nicer. This feels, and I hate to say this, and I'm not trying to sound racist, it feels very Chinese. This display feels like something you would get on like a knockoff iPod rather than the Oculus C feels like it was designed to be a vape device. Okay, please unlock. One, two, three. See, there's no lock on the screen, so you're always able to accidentally adjust. One. One, two, three. Huh, okay, wow, one, two, three. So you can't lock the screen, so you're always able to accidentally adjust your wattage up and down. There appears to be no way to lock your wattage on here. Okay, let's go with space. Let's go with that. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, space. Now it looks dark like space, that's cool. Hey, whatever, it's vaping. Segeli T200. What are the odds that I would get two touchscreen mods in the same first impressions? That Oculus C is actually really impressing me. Like, I want to actually use that right now. The Segeli T200, I don't like that you can't lock the screen. I dislike that you can constantly adjust your wattage up and down accidentally just from, like, grabbing it and, like, 
touching the screen. Overall, it feels a little bit uh, chintzy. It feels, and I hate to say this word again, but it feels a little Chinesey. It doesn't feel like a high quality device. It doesn't feel like it has a nice feel to it, a nice fit and finish to it. Um, I do like that instead of putting it right in the middle, they've put the atomizer off to the side. I think that's a much better decision. I don't like that there's no way to lock the screen. Like that bums me out. Like even taking the door on and off and handling it, I turned my wattage way up to 142 watch because, watts because you can drag this little diamond here and slide it. I just slid it down to 50 watts. You can grab it and slide it all the way up to 177 watts by accident. That is not a good thing, Sigeli. Being able to do that is not a good thing. 72 watts, that works fine. And it vapes, but there's no way to lock the screen. I guess you could go to the menu, but no, when you're in the menu, it doesn't vape. There's no way to lock the screen. That's a huge bummer in my book, Sigeli. Huge bummer in my book. So packaging is once again gonna get thrown away. I don't know what this, what these WHEs are. The WHE 218, this is another mod. This is another mod, why not? Why not open it right now? Because it's here, we might as well open it. Oh, you are weird. You feel, this is like the flimsiest feeling mod I've ever felt. It is a triple 18650, it's got a but this is just machined aluminum. I mean, it feels super cheap. Global Vaping, WHE 218, and it's got like this aggressive branding, like there's a skull with like a gear, like it's supposed to be like this tough thing, and it's got like a wolf on the packaging. So, packaging gets thrown away, you get thrown away. Let's put some batteries in that WHE, why not? I do have another triple pair of batteries. So that one goes negative, that one goes negative, that one goes positive. You close it, it's got a, uh, you know, an OLED display. It's got a DNA 200-ish looking uh, screen. It feels a little bit more substantial once you get some batteries in it, but otherwise this is all 100% aluminum and it feels, it feels so chintzy. Like it feels really, really super cheap. I'm not going to spend much time on this. I know there's another box to open up and I don't want to spend that much time on an aluminum triple 18650 mod because it's not fancy. It doesn't have a touch screen on it. But yeah, Sigeli T200, you get set aside. My first impressions of that are it feels a little bit on the cheap side. This is a big package from iJoy. This is the iJoy Solo V2 200 watt starter kit and then some uh, iJoy Limitless RDTAs, which I already have a plentiful amount of, and the Tornado Hero Tank. Okay, didn't know that these were actual products, the Tornado Hero Tank, and these are both Solo V2 200 watt starter kits. What are the colors of these? I can, they're, I can hear things rattling around inside the packages. That's never what you want to hear. All right, well, this one says it's white, so let's open that one because I'm feeling stormtrooper-y. Oh, I joy. Ugh. Okay, this doesn't appeal to me at all. This mod looks dumb. <laughs> I'm just hashtag just saying the mod looks dumb. And it's got a dinky little tank with weird what is happening why is this is a weird weird little tank what is that like a two mil tank oh okay this is the tornado this is the tornado hero this is the same thing that's in here the tornado hero where do i put batteries in oh okay it's like the uh it's like the you know that box mod the rdta box it's got a big stupid ugly looking button on there that opens up like that, and then you put two 18650s in there. Why not? Let's open two 18650s. Let's put them in there. Uh, it's got a very, very similar looking display. I mean, it's identical. It's identical to that RDTA box. Let's see what the wattage goes up to. 50, 60, 70. Well, it says it goes up to a full 200 watts. Not sure what that's for. TC setup, need to learn, what? You push this button, it says TC setup, need to learn more than 2S. What does that even mean? TC setup, need to learn more than 2S. Don't know what that means. 
Don't know what that means. Uh, all right, let's let's well first let's look at this tank. This is my last package, so we might as well look at this tank that came with it. The Tornado Hero. Nope, this is a different tank. This is a different different tank than the one that came with it, but it looks like it could possibly use. Oh my god, I hate the way China packages stuff. Looks like it could use like pre-built. Coil heads? I don't want to do that. Tornado Hero. It's an RTA. <laughs> it looks like an RTA that looks like all the other RTAs. It's got a two-piece chimney. It's got bottom airflow. It's got a velocity style deck. So you could build in there, you can wick it, and you can do the troll doll technique, which... I mean, that's kind of a bonus. I'm so bored of RDTAs, or RTAs. Especially when they're all the same, like, same design. Why, I mean, why did the, did the market need this? iJoy, did the market need this? That's what I want to know. Okay, so the top is just O-rings, and then it's got a fill port on the side. Oh, no, it's not O-rings, it's threaded and two O-rings. <laughs> okay, okay, see, now we're getting really boring. So it's threaded and it's two O-rings. So that screws on there. And then it's got a drip tip. Ooh, that no, that could be goon sized. I don't know if that could be goon sized or not. <laughs> wow. Hi. Hi. Are you the loudest airflow I've ever heard? <laughs> Come on, I joy. Come on, bro. What are you doing? All right. Well, here's that little tornado tank, and I'm assuming that you can. Uh, okay, that's got a much nicer airflow, but the world's little dinkiest little drip tip. That's, that's not comfortable at all in your mouth hole. Look at that. At least it's not loud. At least it's not as loud as the Tornado Hero. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put off building that Tornado Hero. I don't really even want to fiddle with this tank right now. Mostly because I can't figure out how to friggin' open it. Okay. Oh, okay. It's just a drop-in coil head. It's a drop-in coil head that has, uh, you know, pre-built coils and then wicks coming down. It looks like an RDA base. Is that nickel or what in there? It says 0.3 ohm LED. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? God, evaluating vape shit is so fucking frustrating. Enter the main menu, press the fire button three times to enter into the main menu. Press the right and left regulatory buttons to switch among different functions. T is variable wattage. T is nickel. So T is nickel. That makes sense. T is nickel. No, T is temperature control. And then there's a sub menu for nickel, titanium, stainless steel, M1, M2. TCR settings, fucking temperature control. Please go away. Normal mode, hard mode, soft mode, temp mode. Ugh. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with any of that right now. But this is using sort of a drop-in coil head. Let me show you. See how it kind of looks like an RDA base? Like there's just built coils in there that don't look like they're going to fire evenly at all. Like especially on this coil right here, like those are not evenly spaced. And then there's cotton and you can see the cotton right there. And the height of this coil head is the height of the tank. Like this might hold two mils. I would be shocked and appalled if this actually held a full two mils because it does not look like it at all. Additionally, I can't figure out how to get this coil head out of here because it's surrounded by like this cage, like this iJoy cage. And do you see this X on the bottom? That's the bottom of the tank. Like when it's sitting on your mod, that's what it looks like. Oh my god, an O-ring coming off here. When I screw this down onto the mod, yeah, that's what it looks like on the bottom. Wow, why does that look so terrible? That looks awful, man. Uh, not a fan of this. iJoy, I don't know what's happening. I'm just burning my cotton now because I accidentally pressed the button. Yeah, so cool. So right out of the gate, this tank is already a struggle. I don't even want to fiddle with it. Um, it looks like those coils have not been pulsed properly. I don't think they're going to glow evenly. I might have to go in there and re-wick it. Additionally, this iJoy Solo V2. I think it's ugly. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think, if you think that looks ugly. 
because I think that looks, <laughs> I think that looks super ugly. I don't like this branding. I don't like the skull wearing sunglasses with guns and earrings and a crown and you know come on that looks ridiculous that does not appeal to me at all the button is pretty clicky but it's also big and ugly oh now oh look at that now i'm in uh i'm in some sort of menu mode let's just go back to power mode um yeah, cool. So I got the Tornado Hero that I'm not going to build. This came with a tank that I am not going to use right now, and the mod is ugly. So, iJoy, there you go. A bunch of ugly stuff. Um, but cool. But, I mean, look, out of that, we got the Ocular C uh, screen, you know, touchscreen mod. We got this big, giant round. It's round. It's basically, I mean, this is basically a tube mod from Sense, but we got this Sense, you know, uh, what's the name of this tank? The Blazer tank with its cool top fill design. You know, some first impressions are cooler than others, and this is a part that not a lot of people get to see is the fucking struggle that you go through unboxing shit and learning a brand new menu system and looking at a coil head and seeing, oh, is this nickel or titanium? Oh no, it's a 0.3 LED. What does that even mean? What the fuck does that even mean? I need to vape. All right, so I'm gonna clean up my desk a little bit, but we're gonna end this with, uh, with my favorite comments of the week. All right, let's wrap up this vlog. This this vlog has been going on going on long enough. Um, this fella here, whose name is definitely definitely going to be edited out, um, he just said, "Fuck off, you nonce, n o n c e, nonkey." <laughs> what? Nones, nones. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, I got another I got another comment of the week here. Uh, a fellow named Sweebass said, "Why are you going to freaking Disneyland every day? Don't you have any more dumb places to to go to?" <laughs> <laughs> to go to uh, really improper grammar, but it's YouTube. So what are you going to expect? What are you? Why? Okay. I need to read this comment again. Why are you going to freaking Disneyland every day? Don't you have any more dumb places to go to? Um, no, not really. Uh, I'm a huge Disneyland fan. I like going to Disneyland. I have an annual pass and I try to go once a month because it's a fucking magical place. Uh, and, and that's, that's all there is to it. Uh, shout out to Nico for sending this, uh, comment of the week my way. He says, could Jesus microwave a burrito so hot that he himself could not eat it? I don't know. Does that even matter? <laughs> why would you leave Jim? Why would you leave that comment on a vape video? Uh, I don't even know. Um, that's it. Shit. That's all I have. Um, this isn't a favorite comment of the week, but it's just something really funny that I feel like will sum up this vlog and will sum up this year uh, very, very well. Someone sent me a picture of their Petri clone. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's see if you notice anything different about this particular Petri clone. <laughs> That's amazing. Petri clone made with no holes in the, in the negative post. And somehow that made it through like Chinese quality control and then got sold. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. I've got a mess to clean up. I've got dinner to eat and I've got a friggin' vlog to edit. So yeah, that's what I got everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on this very weird, weird vlog. I feel like I couldn't even get a sentence out correctly in this vlog, but uh, you know what? We're going to press on into 2017. Uh, advocacy is going to be huge in 2017. Uh, Grim Green Industries, of course, will be there as it has been for the last eight years. That's right. January 27th is my eight-year vape -aversary. I can't even believe it. I can't believe that it's it's been... I can't believe I've been vaping and shooting videos for eight freaking years. 
Wow, that is unbelievable. But I, I you know what? I owe everything to my subscribers. Without you guys, um, Grim Green wouldn't mean shit. And uh, it, it's 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 you guys that I really owe all of my thanks to. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching these videos. It truly means the world to me. This is the end. This is the end of 2016, and uh, we'll see you in 2017. Anyway, that's what I got for now. I'm going to grab my little Joy Tech Ocular C with my V-God Trick Tank and some Grim Green Signature Bro Trip, and I'm just going to vape my face off, eat some bagel bites, and edit video. Anyway, that's what I got, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and an awesome, awesome, safe New Year. Let's keep on vaping, everybody.